Good morning everyone and welcome back to another very cozy autumnal vlog. I cannot tell you how autumnal it feels today. It is so, so cold. I went out for a morning walk this morning and genuinely I feel like I'm still needing to use this coffee to de-thaw my hands because I was freezing like proper, you know, red nose, winter chill kind of vibes. I feel like we've hit October and it's suddenly not even feeling like autumn anymore. It's like winter, but... I'm still embracing the autumnal vibes here on this channel where I'm just having my morning coffee, just been getting myself ready for the day. I am wearing my favourite new look dress, you would have seen this in my recent video, my little new look haul. I absolutely love these dresses, I wear them all the time and I feel like they just go so perfectly with any kind of pendant necklace that you've got, anything that's a statement. You guys know how much I adore my Pandora pieces but I've just paired this little gold necklace with actually a pair of silver studs and I'm really enjoying wearing the studs at the moment. I feel like they're just very elegant and I love how they look together but today I have got some really exciting things to unbox with you and things to show you. I've been working on loads of autumnal things at the moment, which you would have seen on my Instagram, on shorts, here on the vlogs. I feel like I've been so, so busy at the moment. And I never want to be that person that's complaining that they're busy, but I do sometimes forget what it's like at this time of year. I feel like mid-September, end of September, early October is when you just hit the throttle on everything and it's just go, go, go. And I honestly feel like I do not stop from here until maybe about, uh, until Christmas really. I feel like it's just really busy and really non-stop all the way up until Christmas now. But it's all good stuff. It's all good things. One thing I've been working on this morning actually, which I don't think I've really chatted about on the vlog is my newsletter. I now have a weekly newsletter that's going out every single Friday. So I feel like Friday's a good day for a newsletter because so I can get excited for the weekend, do a bit of autumnal shopping. Friday's usually payday as well. So it just aligns perfectly. So what I will do is I'll link, leave a link down below and it's basically just a roundup of things from the week. So like my favorite things I've been shopping, uh, things that are on my wish list, like edits of things, um, all of the discounts that I currently have available at that time. Um, like obviously I've still got my Farfetch discount available at the moment, which I know so many of you guys have been using, which makes me so, so happy to know that you're utilizing it because I've had so many requests and so many messages from you asking for a Farfetch code. So it always really excites me when I can give you the codes. I've got my Farfetch code, I've got my hair burst code. Um, anything else will obviously be on the newsletter. So I'll leave a link to it down below if you do want to subscribe to the newsletter. There's nothing spammy or anything. It's just a weekly roundup of everything going on, which I absolutely love being able to do. And I feel like it's bringing me back to my roots. You guys know I love blogging and I blog maybe like once or twice a week. I haven't recently. I kind of fell off the bandwagon a bit, but I'm back on it now. Really excited for the new season. Really excited for all the autumnal things. And especially when we get into like Black Friday time, November, December time, it's really useful because I use it to just update you on everything. If you guys remember, I become your Black Friday pixie. And I just squirrel away behind the scenes creating the best edits, roundups of things because I know how overwhelming it can be. Sometimes I feel like online is quite similar to, you know, when it was like a Saturday and it would be like the January sales in Primark and everything would just be a mess and you wouldn't be able to find anything and you would just get so overwhelmed. Sometimes I feel like the internet can be like that when it comes to shopping. So I always try and like be your personal shopper and streamline it for you and make it a lot more enjoyable. So yeah, I'll leave a link down below if you want to subscribe to the newsletter. But as I said, I've got lots of things to show you, lots of things to crack on with today. So I'm going to finish my coffee, get myself ready for the day and we can crack on. So I've just come to sit down here because I feel like I really love this setup for a bit of an unboxing setup. It's just really nice and cozy down here. Although looking at the sky, it looks like it could rain any minute. And if it does, you're really going to hear the rain on the Velux windows. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that it stays dry. But I have... Ugh, a rather lot of boxes to unbox with you that I'm so, so excited to show you. Now, I'm actually working with this brand over on Instagram, um, and I'm going to be doing a short with them as well. So you may have seen that already, may have already gone live, but if not, you get a little bit of an early introduction to the brand that I'm so, so excited about. So this is the shoe brand Vivaya, and Vivaya are basically pioneering, like, the luxury, eco-friendly footwear market. Literally, just as I was saying that let's hope that it doesn't rain, I can hear the rain coming down. So let's just hope that that noise isn't too irritating, that you can't really hear it in the camera. But basically, 
Vivaya are doing an amazing job at offering really high quality luxury footwear using eco-friendly sustainable materials and also giving a really fair price. And I feel like that's such a difficult like line to walk because obviously it's very, very tough at the moment for brands who are looking into the kind of eco sector to not basically market to premium leaks. I do understand that sometimes looking at eco-friendly brands aren't always as inclusive just because of the price point. Whereas I feel like Vivaya are really, really inclusive, really luxurious and just have the most high quality pieces. I am in love. Oh my goodness, the rain is coming down. I think we're gonna have to head upstairs. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Guys, <laughs> it is coming down fast. Okay, a little bit quieter up here so we can unbox the shoes without any more disturbance. Honestly, autumn winter filming can be so, so tough sometimes, but to chat more about Vivaya as a brand. They are basically pioneering the way with kind of offering really luxurious, eco-friendly and sustainable footwear for a really fair price. And I feel like it's really difficult to find brands that are offering that. Eco-friendly like resources and going through like sustainable materials can be very, very costly. And I know sometimes it can be a bit tricky finding brands that are a bit more inclusive that offer great price points. And Vivaya is definitely doing that. And one of my favorite materials that they use actually, which I just think this is so, so cool, is recycled plastic bottles. I mean, how insane is that? They basically chip the plastic down and then they kind of like weave it into a thread and knit it into the shoes, which just blows my mind that brands can do that. I feel like this is really like pioneering technology with regards to the kind of sustainable market, especially with footwear. To be able to walk around and you've got some really cute shoes on, you've got a really cute outfit, and that you're doing good for the environment whilst you're shopping. I just love that. So I thought that we could unbox the shoes together and I can show you what I have picked up. I will be styling these up for my Instagram and for my shorts. So if it's already up, I will link it down below so you can go and check that out as well. But the first thing we have here is actually a cute little bag that they sent over, which I think is lovely. Oh, this is really sweet. It's just like a little crossbody, which I'm definitely going to shorten because you guys know I am the shortest human in the world. Oh, that is really, really sweet. I love that as a little crossbody. And again, so you can see, just to kind of give you an example of the like, material so it's like really soft it feels very fabricy but it's from recycled water bottles which i just think is absolutely amazing so that's a really cute that can be probably be used as a clutch as well if you wanted to take the um the string off but i absolutely love that so we're gonna get into the shoes so the first pair i have here i am so excited about can we also just appreciate how luxurious the packaging is it's so so lovely and again all really sustainable oh my goodness look at these now you guys will know that i'm obsessed with ballet flats at the moment absolutely obsessed i feel like they're such a huge trend this year and i'm not normally the biggest trend girl but ballet flats is a trend that i have seriously got on board with and i absolutely adore these so i don't know how well you're going to be able to see the material but if i come up really close you can kind of see that it's like woven and it does look knitted. And that is, of course, the recycled plastic that they have knitted in there, which I just think is absolutely amazing. So I've got these in a 36. I do find with ballet flats, I have to go quite true to size. I'm like between a three and a four and about 36.5. And I do usually go down to a 36. I also feel like this material is going to stretch a bit. Um, so I think it's going to be a really, really great size to go for. If you are between sizes, go down. Because I think once you wear them a bit, they'll have a bit of stretch in them. But I just fell in love with these. I feel like black pointed toe shoes are just so so key in an autumn winter wardrobe i really realized recently how much i don't like wearing heels and as much as like you know i like to look elevated and i love to be you know dressed up and stuff like heels for the evening are great but especially when it comes to like if i'm walking around london all day if i've got meetings i don't want to be wearing high heels that are going to ache my feet that aren't comfortable i want to be wearing something really elevated but flat and i really love the fact that these ballet shoes are completely flat so super comfortable but because they have the pointed toe they look really elevated and really really beautiful and if you're a shorter girl like me it's a great way of making you look a little bit taller because it elongates your legs and makes you look a bit taller which is what i really really liked about them so i'm so excited about those i think they're just absolutely stunning okay and this next pair oh my goodness i'm so excited about because this is a pair of shoes i don't know if you can see them from there I have wanted a pair of these kinds of shoes to add into my wardrobe for so so long but I've never been able to find like the perfect ones 
and I finally found them on Vivaya. Look at these. They are the ultimate Chanel dupes. Let's be honest, they are stunning. So they're a half beige, half black, pointed toe heeled shoe. And I did want these in the heels because I really wanted them to be a little bit more elevated. I wanted to be able to wear them with, you know, like skirts and trousers and things like that. And I just think they're so, so stunning. But what I really like about this heel, it's a very chunky block heel. You know, it's not a stiletto. It's not too high at all. So I think it's going to be super, super comfortable. And I've just noticed here, I don't know how you're going to be able to see it there, the little V for Vivaya. And I feel like this brand is going to blow up and I think it's really nice just to have a very subtle branding for it so that if anyone knows, they'll be like, ah, oh, they're Vivaya shoes. And I just absolutely adore. I mean, they do literally look and feel like fabric. It's absolutely amazing how stunning they are. I'm absolutely obsessed with these. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of those. I feel like they're the kind of shoes that I could probably wear in autumn, winter, but also in spring, summer, because they're not really a seasonal shoe. I feel like we can style them up in lots of different ways. Right, next pair of shoes are the same pointed toe ballet. Oh no, they're not the same. They're not the same, okay. So we have another pair of pointed toe ballet shoes, but they are slightly different to the black. So the black was had like a round bit here with the pointed toe. These are slightly different, if you can see. Did I pick them up in the same size? No, I did. I just thought they, were, they looked a little bit bigger, but I think it's just because I've got, I'm wearing black. Yeah, it's definitely because I'm wearing it black, but these are a gorgeous pair of pointed toe flats again. And I don't have any flats in this color. I know I've got loads tan, a couple of blacks, but I don't have anything this color. And I feel like it's really been missing from my wardrobe. And I feel like these are gonna be such wearable shoes. The perfect like meeting, office wear shoes. I always get so many questions from you guys about like workwear, office attire. I feel like these are the perfect thing because they're flat, they're comfortable, but you still look really, really elevated. I absolutely love them. And I love the weave of these. Slightly different it's like a bit more of like a pattern to them this kind of like ribbing detail which I think is so so lovely and I love the almost pointed scoop here I think that's another great way of really elongating your legs and elevating your outfit making you look a lot taller you know I'm all about looking at taller I love any outfit that's going to just elevate my height and make me look much taller right we have a couple of pairs of boots now which i'm so excited about because i feel like i've been really wanting to like upgrade my boot collection in my wardrobe oh my goodness oh my goodness i've been looking for this color for so so long and i've not found it until today look at that oh they are stunning absolutely stunning so they're really gorgeous like tan sock boot which i think is stunning and look how long they look i am a size four and they don't look like a size four i love these i feel like they're really going to elongate and elevate my foot that is so gorgeous and i really really love so many design details about these like they look so much more expensive than they actually are these look designer to me i don't know about you but Honestly, I feel like they could have come straight from Farfetch and been from a really, really expensive designer. I love this detail here with the heel. I think that really adds to it and really helps to like elongate the foot. I think it's so, so gorgeous. But because it is a block heel, really comfortable, really easy to wear. And I also love the fact that it's got a square toe. I don't really have many boots. Do I have any boots in my wardrobe? I don't think I have any boots in my wardrobe that are square toe, so I really liked that. And if you look really closely, you can see there's lots of different details with the knits. Like you've got a much smaller weave here, it's a little bit looser here, and then much looser as you get to the top. And it really does have that sock boot feel with this kind of like almost cuff detail, which I think is so, so lovely. So they're really going to hug your feet without it being too tight. I know we speak a lot about having big calves and finding boots that fit, and I feel like these are gonna be perfect because they're going to stretch to your legs, which is great. I'm so, so excited about those. And then lastly, the last pair of boots to show you is the same but in black because I feel like a pair of black heeled boots is just vital in every girl's autumn winter wardrobe and I really really love how different the black feel like the brown feel very daytime they feel very like cool and casual these feel so elevated and elegant I feel like this kind of boot can literally be worn for like meetings and like you know going around London and just everyday things or they can be elevated with like some tights a cute little skirt and they can be worn for a bit more of an evening look but again they have the exact same kind of like detail and pattern with the loose weave with the like cuff on the top and the detail with the heel which I just 
think makes the shoes so i'm so excited about those so those are all the vivaya shoes that i picked up of course you will have seen me styling them up on my reel and on my youtube short but i'm going to try them all on for you guys now because i'm really intrigued to see how they're going to feel how they're going to like fit and i am just so so excited to have upgraded my shoe collection with these absolute beauties okay it's the black pointed toe shoes are an absolute win i didn't realize when i was taking out the path genetics and yet took out the insole of these so you're not supposed to see that yellow bit underneath that i was showing you earlier um and i've realized that these are water resistant which i feel like is just amazing because when it comes to autumn winter sometimes it can be really tricky with deciding what footwear to wear what shoes to wear especially on a day like today when it's just a down pause of showers it's already stopped raining but it's going to be one of those days where it's just downpour stop downpour stop and I feel like these are just the perfect shoe for that when you know that you're going to be out all day you're not sure what the weather's going to be like I am just in love with them and as you can see from the pointed toe they're really elevating and elongating I feel like they just look so so expensive and especially start up with like a gorgeous jumper dress like this they are just the perfect like workwear shoe the perfect office shoe a bit more elevated than like a weekend style which I really really like and in terms of sizing I'm definitely glad that I went for a 36 because they do not feel tight at all so I've definitely say to size down um whether you're between sizes or not i would say if you're unsure size down because they're definitely going to stretch out even more but i just think they are so so gorgeous i really really love them i think i'm going to get a lot of wear out of these over autumn winter oh my word these are absolutely stunning do you know what i really like about these is the fact that they've got that different kind of like scoop around the toe because i feel like with the white it can be quite easy for it to be a little bit more like frumpy and less elongating than the black whereas because they've got that like almost pointed shape it's really really great at elongating and what i absolutely love which i don't know if you could see with the black as well they don't have a toe butt and i know we talk about this a lot and it sounds so so silly so if you're new around here that is basically you know when you have shoes where you can kind of see the like end bit of your toe and it looks like a little butt that is not a vibe i hate it i hate it when brands do that and i feel like i just want the shoes to like fully cover my toes and these do so if you're looking for a brand that fully covers your toes that doesn't give you a toe butt super elongating super comfortable this is the brand for you i absolutely adore how the white look i'm imagining them with like white jumper dresses white trousers like white smart tailored cigarette trousers i think would be so so beautiful i just think there are loads of different ways that you can wear them and look at how elongating they are like i have the world's smallest feet people always comment on how small my feet are but these shoes make them look so lovely and elongated i am absolutely in love with them oh they are just so beautiful oh my goodness me these shoes are just stunning absolutely stunning now in terms of size i almost wish i'd size down one more size because they are a little bit loose on my feet i always find that i need to go down at size when it comes to heels so just one thing to know that definitely definitely look to size down in these shoes but do you know what these have which i think are absolutely game changing they've got like a ridge like a padding you know on the like heel not the heel the bridge of your foot they've got padding there which is game changing because i get so uncomfortable in heels especially on that bit because i do find i've got quite a high arch and it can be really really uncomfortable when i'm wearing heels this has padding i am obsessed i cannot believe it and obviously it's got more of a rounded toe rather than a pointed toe but i still think it's really elongating and elevating i think it's because of the black cap on the toe it's a really great way of like pulling your eye down and i just love how these look i feel like they're very you know 1950s very classic feminine lady kind of vibes which i just think is so so beautiful and the heel doesn't even feel like it's a heel at all i mean i know it's just a tiny heel but it's just a bit of elevation and a bit of height without being uncomfortable at all so i think i could probably wear these all day in london for like meetings and stuff as well i am honestly in love with these guys look at these boots oh my word i know it's a little bit tricky for me to obviously do a bit of a shoe haul in the mirror but hopefully you can see all of these shoes in all of their glory because these are just the most flattering thing in the entire world they are so elongating so flattering on your leg like as you can see they are just 
like skin tight but not too tight on my ankle so it's a really great way of elevating your legs and elongating them because it just kind of like pulls the eye up and makes it look very streamlined which I really really like I love the fact that they're a bit more of a square toe I think that's a super super flattering silhouette not one that I would have normally gone for but I'm kind of obsessed with how it looks love how different that heel is I think it's really really interesting and again these have the padding on the bridge of your foot which I do think is going to be game changing I don't think I'm going to wear any other boots this autumn winter these are just so so gorgeous the color is perfect I love how they look I was a little bit worried about them and making me look a little bit pale but I don't think they do at all I think the color is super flattering I think it will go with a lot of different skin tones and I have a feeling I'm just going to want to live in these this autumn winter. I honestly didn't think we could get much better than those brown boots, but the black are stunning, even more elongating and even more flattering. I love them so, so much. And they really don't feel like you're wearing a heel, which I think is so lovely. I think these are the kind of boots that I'm gonna be able to last all day in I love them at two pieces and in case you're wondering about like if you can see the holes or anything like that as you can see they're not holy at all it's only when you get close that you can really start to see the kind of like knitted details in them which I think is so so lovely a sock boot is just such a staple in an autumn winter wardrobe and I am absolutely obsessed with these so I will leave a link to Vivaya down below definitely go and check out their shoes because they have a huge huge range of stunning eco-friendly sustainable footwear that you guys can shop I'm so excited to be working with them over on Instagram and on my shorts but I just wanted to do the unboxing and the try on with you guys here because I just know you're going to want to shop these after seeing them so I will leave a link to them down below well we've made quite a mess from that haul lots of unboxings lots of mess everywhere and you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do the really adult thing when it comes to making a mess that you know you need to tidy I'm just gonna yeah we're just gonna yeah <laughs> productive a couple of hours I time lapse a little bit but I figured it would be really boring for you to literally sit there for two hours watching me type away at my laptop but I've just been sitting at the kitchen and this is one of my favorite places to sit and work especially in like the middle of the day when I'm just wanting to get a bit of admin done just wanting to get on top of my to-do list and you know get some worky bits done I don't know what it is about this kitchen island but I really really love sitting here to get my work done but I've just written finalized and scheduled this week's newsletter ready for you guys to go out on friday so make sure to subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't already because i'm really really enjoying doing them and i just feel like it's holding me a bit more accountable to like the weekly edits and making sure i'm on top of things and i think my favorite thing is just the discount roundup because i feel like sometimes it can get a bit overwhelming like what discounts i've got for when and what code to use so i would definitely recommend subscribing to that if you want to keep on top of all the discounts and all the things that i am loving at the moment oh my goodness me i have just come upstairs because i have had a very exciting parcel arrive from river island that i oh, i'm so excited to unbox with you so i was doing a little bit of browsing on river island and i do feel like when it comes to like autumn winter basics like there's really key autumnal outfits the kind of like staple things that you want in your wardrobe river island is like always my go-to i absolutely adore shopping on there they have so many stunning pieces so i thought i would show you what i picked up oh my goodness starting with an absolute win look at 
this and i know that you guys know how much i love coats i absolutely adore them i feel like a coat for autumn winter is just such a staple because it's like your outerwear it's what everyone's going to see so i really love to have really elevated coats and i do not have anything in this color so when i saw this i was like i cannot add that into my basket any quicker it's a really gorgeous kind of like pea coat-esque just straight up and straight down stunning olive green color i mean would you look at that would you look at that that is absolutely gorgeous such a stunning piece so i picked this up in a 12 because i do find with river island coats they do come up a little bit oversized but looking at this I think it's actually just going to be a really nice fitted silhouette. I love the fact that it's got that kind of double button detail. I feel like it always elevates a coat and makes it look a lot more expensive than it is. And this is the kind of coat that I feel like you can wear for loads of different occasions. You can wear it for like workwear around London. You can wear it like, you know, on the weekend, just chucked over a really easy outfit. It's going to keep you really nice and warm and just look so, so elevated. So we'll try this on. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll style it up because I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Okay. How amazing is this? coat the color is just perfect i've just put it on with my little via shoes i think they just go so so beautifully with an outfit like this like this is so perfect for so many different occasions you know i could wear this to like my meetings i could wear this for like a girl's day shopping this is just so versatile which i really really love and i love how the green goes with the black i think they really complement each other they're very wintry very tonal which i really really like the coat is a little bit oversized let me put it on properly as well so you can see and then just to show you with the coat like fully on arms through the sleeves and all that jazz it's like a really nice slightly oversized but not too big coat i just think it's a really nice like military style really gorgeous i think it's a bit more like fitted a bit more structure which i really really like in my coats at the moment and it's just such a beautiful fit definitely needs a steam but <laughs> I just love it. It's not like anything else that I've got in my wardrobe. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this over autumn, winter. I am so, so in love with it. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have done the most Ellie thing that I could possibly do. And I picked the coat up in another colour. Because you guys know what I'm like. If I like something, I want it in multiple colourways. I'm the epitome of if I like it, I'll just buy it in another colour. And so I also picked up the same coat in this really gorgeous camel colour. But it looks slightly different, especially because of the buttons. It's got the slightly more elevated buttons. They've got this like gold detail running around the outside. But I absolutely adore the colour of this. This is perfect autumnal styling to me. I feel like the green one's a bit more like wintry. A little bit more going into maybe like late October, November. As this is the epitome of like October styling, which I absolutely love. Just start up like a really cozy scarf. My new Vivaya shoes I think would look really, really cute with this and maybe some like tan accessories. I love tonal dressing. You guys know how much I adore tonal, seasonal, really gorgeous, like monochromatic outfits. I absolutely love that. And I feel like a camel coat like this is just such a staple in your autumn winter wardrobe. I think it's a really lovely way of adding a bit of color as well. I feel like I've really kind of gone off wearing a black coat. I feel like as much as I love black Black dresses and black knits and things like that it's very elegant it's very chic black coats are just a bit boring to tell you the honest truth and there's nothing I love more than being that person on the tube that's wearing like a really lovely colorful coat or something a bit more like elevated and tonal I think it's really really sweet so pick this one up in a 12 again and I think it's going to be the perfect autumnal coat and the camel is just as beautiful the fit is exactly the same and the structure is exactly the same the only difference is the buttons which I quite like because I feel like it's really like fitting with each color and it's they've really clearly thought about it which I really like and I've just paired it with my Vivaya shoes how gorgeous do these look with the coat I think they just go so so beautifully I really love wearing these coats over the shoulders as well like this just in case you're wondering why I'm standing up like this this is actually one of my favorite ways to wear a big coat I just think it's really elegant really elevated and it means that it keeps you nice and cozy warm without being too hot it is getting really hot in here trying on all of the <laughs> wintry pieces but my goodness the coat is just so beautiful such a classic autumn winter piece and the color is just 
a vibe. I feel like I could style this up with so many bags in my collection. My Demelier bag, my Lillian Bean bag, a black bag would be absolutely gorgeous. So I feel like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this coat. I'm so, so glad I picked them up in both colours because I was really undecided whether it was going to be a waste or whether I was just being silly. But I do think they look completely different from each other and I'm going to get a lot of wear out of the both of them. Okay, we now have a really gorgeous knit. Now you guys know how much I adore my jumper dresses and I spoke in a recent video about how much I'm really just embracing what I love to wear and if I want to have loads of that of like a version of that in my wardrobe then so be it so I picked up another jumper dress but I don't have anything like this actually I saw this from River Island and thought that's really different and it looks very Ralph Lauren-esque to me with the kind of like cable knits with these like kind of brown buttons I don't know how well you can see them it looks very Ralph Lauren it's a very heavy knit which always says to me that it's a really really high quality although I do really struggle with hanging and like storing knitted jumper dresses because I know that you're not supposed to hang your knitwear but when it's like a dress it's a bit too thick and bulky to put in a drawer so I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing with knitted jumper dresses I kind of just hang them which I know is probably sacrilege but this is just absolutely stunning it's the softest thing I've ever felt and it's basically this like tight bodycon skirt with this much looser like cable knit cardigan-esque top which I just think is so different I love the fact that they've got the like details running down the sleeves as well so it's a bit more of a blue balloon sleeve which I really like in a jumper dress because I feel like it helps give that silhouette sometimes in jumper dresses they can be a little bit more boxy a little bit looser and less kind of like silhouette -y. so it's a really nice way of just adding a bit more of a silhouette into your wardrobe and I just thought this was such a gorgeous cozy one these to me are just the epitome of autumn winter styling because they look so elevated and so elegant but at the same time they're super comfy they're really easy to wear you don't feel like you're wearing proper clothes so if you're like working from home or something like that they are just perfect that's what i really love about jumper dresses you don't have to like think about it you don't have to like pair things together it's just one outfit in itself and i just thought this was such a beautiful dress now this i think is really really cute it's not like anything i have in my wardrobe which i really really like about it i mean it's not the most figure hugging thing it's definitely the most flattering thing in the world but it's super cozy and super comfy and i just love like cable knit running down it the only thing i will say is maybe size down on this because it's quite loose and it's not like because it's quite thick and quite heavy it's really not like sitting on my waist or anything like that so i think i might return it and get the size down so just a word of warning to size down on this but oh my goodness i think it's so so cute okay what do we have next honestly it always feels like a treasure trove whenever i'm opening my parcels of what i've ordered because half the time i don't remember what i have ordered oh this is cute this is really nice so this is just another jumper dress kind of similar to what i'm wearing but a bit more like higher neck a little bit more maybe wintry because it's quite thick actually compared to what i'm wearing but it's got a lovely ribbed detail running down it which i always find it so flattering if you're looking for jumper dresses i would definitely say something with a rib is going to be a lot more flattering this actually i think is probably a little bit more evening wear i feel like this one's very daytime very cash very easy to wear this one feels a little bit more elevated and a little bit smarter what size did i pick this up in i picked it up in a 12 oh it's from the petite section oh that's nice so i think it's should actually fit in length and actually be a midi on me for once but i thought that was another cute one to add into my wardrobe now this i love because it actually does give a completely different vibe to the jumper dress that i was wearing it before i do feel like you probably will look at my wardrobe and think oh you wear a lot of samesy things and i know that they're quite similar but i do think they are completely different the only thing i'm unsure about is the length I'm not sure if I'm loving this length of the way that it kind of flicks out, but let me know your thoughts because the silhouette is stunning. It's like really figure hugging. It's ribbed, but not like casual ribbed, if you know what I mean. And the collar is just lovely. It's like a really nice turtleneck kind of roll neck collar that doesn't come up too high because it is from the petite section. And again, I started up with the, the Vivaya boots and just to solidify how non see-through they are, I'm wearing white socks with them. <laughs> And you can't see the white socks through the knit at all. So yeah, really love these paired together. Love the fact that there's a little bit of leg. And I think this is a really cute evening outfit for autumn winter. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. I think it's a really, really cute one. And then lastly, I think we might have another jumper dress because I know what I am like. Of course we do. Oh no, it's a cardigan. Oh my goodness, I remember this now. Now this I saw and it looks really like... I'm gonna have to try and remember the brand name off the top of my head. And I don't think, it's the Alice and Olivia ones. 
There's these cardigans that everyone goes nuts for and they are so thick and cozy and they look really, really gorgeous, but they are so spenny. And when I saw this in River Island, I was like, that looks exactly like the cardigans I see on Instagram but a fraction of the price and it is so super cozy and super soft you guys know that i've been living in my river island cardigan the like brown and black kind of like you know geometric one recently i've been living in that so much it's so comfy and so cozy i absolutely love it so i have a feeling i'm going to live in this one too i really love the color of it it's like this almost like purpley mauvey kind of tone i love the fact that it's got the ribbing down the arms and just on the kind of like collar detail i think that's a really really lovely design detail it's got pockets and it's a lovely maxi length so if you see me living in this in autumn winter then mind your business because no i'm joking i absolutely adore this i think i'm gonna get so so much wear out of it because it really is just the perfect autumnal layering piece okay don't even pretend that this isn't just giving you the comfiest, coziest vibes. I am so in love with this cardigan. It really is just so elevated and elegant. I've literally just started up with my slippers because this is exactly how I'd want to wear this. Just at home, really comfy, cozy, really cute. I love this so, so much. And I just love the details to it. The fact that it's got the kind of like double cuff the fact that it's got the like folded kind of collar detail i just think it's so so beautiful and pockets it is just the perfect cozy knit cardigan to have at home just to sling on with any outfit i usually just throw these on over like jumper dresses or whatever i'm wearing for the day when i start to get a bit chilly in the afternoon evenings oh i'm gonna get so so much wear out of this this autumn winter do i look like i deserve my own baking show or do i look like i deserve my own baking show i love this setup one thing i have said this year is that i really do want to get back into like cozy autumnal winter baking and i want to do it with you guys i'm not the best cook or the best baker in the entire world but especially now that i have the kitchen for it i really want to do that but speaking of cooking I have a new package that has literally just arrived that I need to get in the freezer quickly. So I thought I would show you what is in here because I'm very, very excited about this. So as I said, I am not the best chef in the world. I'm not the best cook in the world. And I love an easy meal. And one thing that me and Alex are really trying not to do as much at the moment is order in. I feel like it can just get so easy to just be like, oh, I'll just, you know, get a takeaway, but it's not healthy for you, but balance. it's not very good for you. And I would much rather just do like our own meal that we've kind of like sorted ourselves you know and like you know where it's come from you know all the ingredients and things like that so i've got some things to unbox here from all plants which is a brand that i absolutely adore sorry about the sun it's like a very weird cloudy afternoon but the sun seems to be coming out now but i absolutely adore all plants for just the fact that they are a really really easy like it's an easy meal for you to create and do yourself. They're basically ready meals that you shove in the freezer that you can bring out any time. And they're so perfect for the days where you don't really know what you want to cook. You don't really know what you're really like feeling or what you're wanting to eat. You're not wanting to order takeaway, but you're just like a super simple, like let's just bang that in the oven. And especially on the days that maybe you've like been out in the office all day and you get home quite late um, and you don't really want to like spend hours, you know, over the stove cooking your dinner. I think I have a discount code with them as well. I do indeed, LEJ15X, very specific, LEJ15X. I will leave that on screen and that will also be included in this week's newsletter because it's very exciting when I can give you discounts. So I thought I would show you exactly what I have picked up because there are some really, really yummy things in here and I need to get these straight in the freezer so that we can you know have them as meals over the next few weeks so i've got a couple of like repeats so that me and alex can both have the same thing but there are some where it's like i can have it by myself he can have it by myself you know if one of us is out so first of all we've got the tofu pad thai now one thing i will just say is these are all vegan they are all plant-based which is really really great but one thing that i love about all plants is that it's very open to kind of any like any dietary requirements they've got lots of like gluten-free things on there the tofu pad thai is not gluten-free but they do have lots of options on there if you want to check them out as you guys know i'm starting to incorporate a bit more gluten into my lifestyle so this is one way that i'm doing it with things like tofu and where it's like not too much and i can just have a little bit here and there but they're really great at like encouraging you to kind of like do your own with it so if you want to add your own meat do it like cook your own chicken in the oven add it into the meal and it's a super simple way of adding meat into a otherwise vegan meal but if you want to you can keep it plant-based we do try and eat a bit more plant-based during the week um just 
just to kind of try and help things out. So I got the tofu pad thai, which I'm super excited about. Literally microwave, seven minutes. How handy is that? So I've got two of those for Alex and I to enjoy. I then have a rigatoni putanesca. A rich tomato based sauce with a touch of chili tossed with rigatoni and topped with garlic roasted aubergines. Now, of course, because there's chili in there, I'm guessing when I ordered this, I had Alex in mind because I'm not a spicy kind of a gal, but I thought he might really like that. Yes, I did because the one for me is the rigatoni carbonara. That is definitely much more lee. A light and creamy carbonara sauce tossed with rigatoni pasta with smoky pancetta mushrooms and a crispy almond palm crumb. Oh my god definitely not gluten-free so that is a real indulgent one for me that night um and then last this is the last meal no we've got two more so i've got a teriyaki udon alex loves teriyaki so i picked that one up for him because he always orders teriyaki whenever we go to like sushi places or anything like that it's just his favorite thing so to be able to have one at home i think is really really nice and then we've also got the truffle mushroom orzo which is for me because i love truffle and i love mushrooms and i think that's going to be such a yummy one so i'm really really excited about those they can go straight in the freezer they also sent over a few other things to try so the truffle cauliflower cheese is a great side dish especially if you love roasts i feel like we are now getting back into roast season now that it is autumn Term, and I am so ready every single Sunday. I just want a nice cozy roast. We had one at my mum's the other week and oh, I just love it. So I'm definitely going to get onto Alex to start cooking more roast now that we are getting into cozy season. So I really love a cauliflower cheese and the truffle is just amazing and um, they have then sent over a berry breakfast this is actually a smoothie which i'm really interested to try i'm not really the biggest smoothie gal but i could be persuaded if it's really good we do have a nutri bullet that could use and then we have a couple of other bits this is a mango and turmeric chai pot a golden blend of oats chai seeds and spices with mango coolis and toasted pumpkin seeds i'm not entirely sure if that is a lunch if that is a dinner thing you can eat it cold defrost in the fridge overnight for approximately 12 hours remove lid and place in the microwave on the defrost setting once defrosted this breakfast must be eaten within 24 hours so that's definitely a breakfast and then we also have a salted caramel cheesecake with layers of creamy salted caramel and cocoa butter cocoa biscuit base Oh my goodness, that sounds absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna get these all in the freezer now whilst the sun is coming back out and blinding me so that we've got some really nice meals just to have as like backups, just to have as like easy evening meals throughout the week. And as I said, what was the code? LEJ15X, 15% off your first order. Well, it has been a big old vlog full of a lot of unboxings. We've had shoes, we've had clothes, we've had food. And I feel like if that doesn't sum up my three interests right now, now that we're coming into autumn winter i don't know what does they're just the three main things that i am interested in autumn clothing cute shoes and cozy autumn meals but i think i'm gonna leave this video here because as you can see behind me the lamp is on it is starting to get really really dark and i'm going to start on dinner soon i think i might do myself the rigatoni carbonara tonight because that sounds absolutely amazing. I feel like I just want all the carbs, all of the carbs. It is a night of getting cozy, getting comfy because it's just been on off rain all day today, which has not been the most fun, but it has been very cozy and very autumnal. And especially considering that I've not left the house today, I can't really complain. So I think I'm gonna get into some comfies, probably the new H&M comfies that I picked up recently. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below because it's probably my favorite H&M haul I have ever, ever done. So I'm going to get into my comfies, get my jewelry and my makeup off and get really cozy. And if that isn't what autumnal evenings are all about, then I don't know what is. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. <music>